So I was sitting in my lab the other day, thinking, how can I break pendulums even more than I already have? Ban electromite. <laughs> then it hit me. Rongo. Why don't I just FTK them, which Rongo to me is a straight up FTK, as opposed to just putting up six, six negates. So I can put up six negates, or I can just Rongo them. Which is some more swag in that too. You can Rongo with a bunch of warriors, I'm gonna play one warrior in my deck, and I still Rongo. Pen God. That's what we do. And it's way more consistent too. If you hand trap like, like anything in the Rongo deck, they can't Rongo anymore. If you hit the right thing, whether I'm called by the grave or anything like that. But in this deck, if you hand trap me, I'm still putting up Rongo. And even if there's too many hand traps, I put up three negates. It's no problem. So this deck's incredible. I really like it. I honestly think it's the best version of Pendulums right now. I don't know how I keep coming up with these new builds for it. But it's Rongo 99% of the time with no, if I don't get inter interrupted. If I get interrupted, obviously you don't go for Rongo anymore. Uh, you go for a different style. So the play is very simple. Uh, just to show you the, the game plan behind this deck is... You play one warrior, Dragonis. That's it. You just play one warrior. You go into a like all you need is one turbo card. One turbo card equals Rongo. Just one. Even a curtain razor. So you draw a curtain razor and a bunch of random stuff. And you go so curtain razor, normal magician, you go into Electro. Electro? Yo, put that shit down, bro. <laughs> Anyways, the disrespect to the pen gun. He said this. Then since you have a warrior to the extra deck. You uh, have a harmonizing or a level 3 or whatever. All you need to do is pendulum a level 3 from your hand and anything. Typically, there's one harmonizing. Or how to strudel and grave. Or draw PK. Literally, it's impossible not to have it. All you have to do is for Electrum to resolve. If the Electrum resolves, you have Rongo easy. And if it doesn't resolve, you put up 3 negates and see your opponent cry. So I'm going to show you guys how it works. They literally just send a warrior and you have Rongo. And you go into the PK link and get the other level 4 warrior and another level 3. And it's that easy. So we're going to do a test hand here just to show you guys. Again, completely random. I'll happily show you guys full test hands at the very end where it's like five in a row. Where I got Rongo five times in a row, ten times in a row. And testing, I got ten times in a row. At the beginning, the deck wasn't wasn't good. So I failed miserably with it. Like I would play two boots instead of one boots. I wouldn't have enough. Little stuff like that. I'll show you guys the deck list later and how it, how, how it works. But would you like to cut, please? Cut, shuffle, whatever. And I'll show you guys how any hand equals Rongo. Like, regardless, it's, it's 50 cards instead of 60. Uh, like a bunch of levels. Like, it's literally impossible. Like, there's no brick. The only brick is Mirror Mirror. But you need something to go second. So, <laughs> three. So, three corner cards. This hand doesn't matter. Like, you, all you need is just one turbo card. These are literally the exact same as if it's, like, just not a turbo card. It really doesn't matter what you have. So, effect of this, you bring out the Gazer. Where is this gazer? After that, you'll trigger, chronograph, dark worm, bring out gate zero. Now this hand's actually, because you have three on board, you can actually go just, you know, you have to let your first point PK link. But you can do a lot of stuff here, like too much stuff. So next we're gonna go into Electrum. We're gonna keep the level three on board. Now the Electrum effect, you send the Dragotis that I was talking about. We have the level three. All we need is just a level three on board after our pen summon. After we send Dragotis, you need a level three in your extras or hand to summon or one on, on field if it's the Gazer or a Harmonizing in hand or a Destrudo or a PK monster in your hand. Like the chat, like it's so incredibly difficult for you not to have one level three running. We play more level three magicians in the deck as well. And it's incredible. There's literally no bricks in the deck. The only bricks literally Mirmur or Fogblade. And those two out of 50 are the only bad cards to draw. And even Mar even Fogblade's not a bad card. Because you play 13 discard outlets in this deck. So you just discard the Fogblade. And special a free level 3 from your, from your uh, field. Because uh, you're going to have a level 3 in there uh, from, yeah. the, from the PK link. So it's even drawing the Fogblade is not dead. If you draw in conjunction with the third, one of the 13 cards. It just may or may, but it's still necessary. Because going second, we, we built the extra deck to destroy decks going second. Because going first, you just have to them. So going second, you still want options to win going second. Anyways, so right now, Doctor's at one counter. We have these in our hands. There's so many options to do now. We will simply go into Chrono. In fact, we don't even need to use Electrum's Effect. But we will anyways just to get the free draw. So I have to Electrum's Effect to... Whatever. If we draw a spell, we could add off this, but whatever. We'll just... We'll just pop Abductor. It doesn't matter. Even if we drew a spell, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant at this point. Just to draw anything. 
We'll, we'll add the chrono at the end. It really doesn't matter what we get. We'll draw one. Doesn't matter what we got. We'll put the gate zero. We'll pendulum summon it now. You need to summon the warrior. And any monster, preferably a dark, or like any monster, any monster, doesn't matter. Summon whatever from your hand, it doesn't matter what you bring out. If I even save one, because you don't really need it at this point. But to show you guys how easy it is. And now we're going to, with Electrum, link with the random monster. Again, we don't need a monster. We'll keep one monster in hand, because we didn't need that monster we drew. So we drew up Doctor. So it doesn't matter what we drew, we'll keep it in hand, just to show you guys that you can do it regardless. So Electrum and the Dark Worm. Like, you only need to summon one monster from your hand. That's it, as long as you have a level 3 on board. Underclock, Underclock, Chronograph. You go into the PK link. The PK link, like you guys see how easy it is now. PK link, you send cloak. You play one cloak, two boots. You set the uh, the trap that summons itself. And then you're going to add use cloak effect to banish. To get the boots, and the boost to special, you special this as well. And just like that, you got Rongo. You got bamboozle, bamboozling, whatever. And you got Rongo with five materials. Typically, you're gonna have Rongo with six materials. That's the typical way you can make Rongo with six materials. That's the typical way to do it. But sometimes you're gonna do it like this, where it's like uh, you didn't have access to level threes. We only had the, uh, the time gazer. So with that being said, you're gonna have five. But five still an auto win because if you look at your hand now, you're just gonna pass. Uh, your your opponent's gonna be like, uh, set one, pass, and then this is gonna go at the end phase. So you won't be able to destroy their field. But simply just draw a card. So it doesn't matter what you draw, what we're cutting. They just summon. Yeah, so you just pendulum summon, whatever you want. Attack, attack, attack. And then even if somehow you still can't destroy them, go ahead. They have one more turn to catch somebody. Uh, not somebody. Five materials is perfect because you have two turns to OTK. And playing pendulums is the easiest OTK in the planet. Uh, the only way this, uh, that I recommend doing six or no Rongo. So always go Rongo for five if you can. But if you know you're facing Altergeist, go for six because you want to pop everything they got on board. If they set all their back row, or if they play like a, a stun deck or something, so if they do that, just uh, even strikers, strikers as well, just uh, make sure you get six materials in the wrong, which is very simple to do. That just I just, could, just couldn't do it, and then uh, you auto win like that, and uh, that's that's the way to do it. That's like how it is. Like I literally like as you saw the hand, yeah, the hand was not like it was like every hand looks like that. Three chrono was not good. It one was, chrono is good. Let's do one more test hand. We'll do one more test hand just to show you guys. Literally every single hand is like this. This time I'll even I'll, I'll put it around so it's easier for you guys to see. Uh, I'll, it's easier for me to play that way, so I'll just make it easy for you guys. And the thing I love about it is you only need five cards to do this combo. Uh, so you're playing Electrum anyways. You're playing PK Link Underclock anyways to so do the PK Link. So you're only playing like you're only adding two cards into the extra deck, like just these two. But in total, like I look at it like this, like just five of these. And then you have 10 cards to play with. Three of them are negates, so you play these three for negate. I'll explain the deck list later. And the next seven are just for going second. So it's really good in terms of utility. It, I took a lot of negates in the deck, like Vortex sucks anyways. Yeah, it's so, like, the level seven suck. Uh, playing Vortex forces you to play Saki level sevens. Only seven I play in the deck is gate zero. Like, the rest of the level seven suck. They're literally garnets that do nothing. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys another hand. All the cards are together, so every time you, you play this deck, or pretty much any Pendulum deck now, because every Pendulum deck needs to play the Fog Blades, the Traps, etc. Uh, you need to Power Shuffle, because all your Traps and PKs and etc., your Dark Room, your Shroud, they're all going to be together. You don't want that. After you Power Shuffle, it's impossible to break. Like, literally, I'm 100% confident in this deck. Like, I, li I can literally do 20 test hands for you guys, and 20 test hands are really going to be Rongo. Yeah, Rongo su does suck. Wrong is like winning sucks. So no, pendulum sucks. Pendulum, yeah, winning sucks. <laughs> like Victor said, Victor the Panda said it best. Uh, if you uh, yeah, winning sucks, so why would you want to put up Rongo and just win? So it sucks. Pendulum suck too, because winning sucks apparently. Anyways, so we're cutting. Would you like to cut once more, please? I just want to show you guys how easy it is, and this time we will be doing it from your perspective, and it makes it easier for you guys. So we have terraforming. Dualist Alliance, Harmonizing, Mare Mare, Shrine. So obviously drawing Mare Mare sucks. And I don't know why, I keep drawing this card. Yo, Ray! 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 He was there. Ray! He's probably smoking. Okay. Where's the guy? Ray! I haven't had a single ult yet. He drew Mare Mare again. Again, bro. He drew Mare Mare again. I told you, it's your discard fodder. <laughs> Which is actually what I'm gonna do, but still. I keep drawing this card. They literally glued to me. Like, 
Someone said a comment, like, yo, well, I can draw Soul Charge, how much time is Trip draws Mirror Mirror? Damn right, bro. But that's all good. So we're gonna go Dragon Shrine. This hand, just every other hand, we drew the biggest brick in the deck. We still have it. Like, every single hand has this, has it. Like, every single one. Now, talk about, like, oh, what if you got ashed? You literally still have it even if it's got ashed. Like, you have so many ways to get into Dark Orb, etc. But we're gonna just keep playing. Just for the sake of showing you guys how this combo works. Because when you wrap your head around the idea of the combo, you could, for yourselves, have your own brain to see how to play around it. It's extremely easy to play around different hand traps. You just have to use the order of your cards to have to be correct. Like, if we know we're playing around hand traps, we're not going to add the zero because of droll. And there's a lot of ways to play around stuff. If they droll you, you cannot wrongle. But that's why if they droll you, you just put up interruptions instead. A lot of interruptions. You still have saved the three most important drops in the deck. You have Dragster and Dweller. Uh, like it's Dragster, Dweller, and the Fog Blade is more than enough to stop any deck. And if they don't, Dweller doesn't affect them, Tornado will affect them. So you always have enough interruptions to stop your opponent, anyways, even if they hand trap you. So if they believe they're any hand trap, expect a Fog Blade, a Dragster, and a, a Dweller or Tornado, whichever rank four is best against them. And honestly, even rank, the rank three interruption is still something. Like the Bamboozling, like at the worst case scenario, if you have a bunch of level threes, it's literally a free interruption sometimes, like completely for free. If you don't get Rongo, you can literally just summon two PKs and get it. It's incredibly easy, or Gazer or whatever. Uh, anyways, so we're going to continue with the rest of this. So we got Dark Room here. Uh, we're just going to Terraforming a lie. Uh, we're going to... I'm rather pendulum call at this point. But we're going to uh, normal. And then Electrum. <clears throat> so our guy's got a cool though here. Now Electrum just send the Dragodis or Dragonics or whatever. I prefer to play the Dark One. I just didn't have the Dark One at the time. The Dark One's better just in case you break them when I go to the PK instead. If you can't wrangle them and they hand trap you up to ask or something. So next we're going to We're gonna save the terraforming. We're gonna do a slide. We're gonna do oops, oops. Can't do this line, yeah. But get zero. Yeah. yeah, pen call. We're gonna pen call the mirror mirror away. We don't need it. Do a terraform could come clutch with electrum draw uh, for drag. Uh, this is level three. So the, like it's so many level threes in the deck. It's insane. Drawing terraforming or whatever it helps a lot. And even we couldn't even get into. We also play one copy of empowerment to bring Dragodis out. Empowerment don't play three of it because like. It's not like absolutely necessary to play three of it. I just play one of it to ensure that even if my electrum gets impermanent, you still have an option. You have eight ways to search this. To search this, you have double terraforming, you have set rotation, and one empowerment. So that's four cards. You have this itself and three abductor. So you have eight ways to get into Dragodis or Dragonics, whatever one you want to play, just in case electrum gets impermanent. And you don't want to play three empowerment because it's not a good card. Uh, Ravine's a great card because it's an option of Dark Room or Destrudo, and Dark Room gives you the plus one is gate zero that you need. So it gives you a plus one. So it replaces the card that you discard. So Empowerment doesn't replace the card you discard because this card's not a plus one, but you still need one of them rolling around to ensure you get the wrong go off. That makes sense for you guys. So this gets the Pendulum Call. Pendulum Call discards that, and we now get two cards. One thing to note, the Magician Count's so different. It's so much better. Uh, I got rid of all the skill eights because there's, except for harmonizing, because they're not needed. Uh, now a high skill for the deck is skill is level five. It's scale five, scale five. We take out the middle of beast because they're way too high of a level and you really don't need them whatsoever. But I might put in one jackal just in case I get hand trapped beyond belief just to have a free monster to gate. But I'll explain to you guys more. Uh, it's literally because you're FTK them, you don't need them. It literally, you're playing three brilliant fusions and two garnets. I don't like that ratio. And then high levels if you were to draw them eventually later. Anyways, we're gonna get on with this combo. Where we're going to, we have harmonizing the extra, we're gonna be adding that off this. So we're gonna get Wisdom Eye uh, to put, Wisdom Eye and Oak Dragon. I will get, sorry, we'll get harmonizing and Oak Dragon. Harmonizing becomes the only skill 8 in your deck aside from Gazer, that's a magician. Uh, but Wisdom Eye is also one you need to get, when you need to pen summon harmonizing, you get Wisdom Eye as a high skill. So you get those two. Now use Electro Draw to pop this. You can literally search anything at this point. But one thing to note is... Uh, actually, no. We'll get Dark One. It really doesn't matter what you add. We're going to cut the deck. Does not matter what we get. Literally, it doesn't matter. We're not. We're just going to discard it with this. We're not even going to activate a lore just to show you guys that you don't need to like use a lore or whatever. Whatever we drew is irrelevant. Uh, Oaf Harmonizing. Oaf Add Back Harmonizing. And we have the combo again uh, easily. So Summon Summon if you want. We're going to get the Destruto to have another level 3 on board. This, this. Harmonizing, bring out one of your level threes. We took out designs from the deck because you don't want to banish everything. This is another level three we play. We play two level three magicians, Time Breaker and Time Gazer. Uh, they're important. Time Breaker is also drawing in itself is really good in itself uh, to take care of boards. And then, uh, like against, I took out a bunch of draw cards, by the way, guys. A lot of the draw cards, or sorry, search cards. So even when you base a board of Titan Double Colossus, 
as long as they don't have another hand trap to stop you, it's so easy to out it. Because the second they, they're gonna, the second you bait out the, the Titan, uh, it's very easy to play around Colossus in this deck. Uh, it's very, very easy, just depending on what you have, obviously. If you draw three pen calls, you're not playing around that deck. But we got rid of the Mythical Beast, we got rid of some search cards, so there's not many search cards left. But anyways, and this also helps to get rid of it. And the extra deck does as well, helps get rid of it a lot. Anyways, we're gonna next go into the point again, we go into the Underclock. Doesn't matter what you bring out. Doesn't matter what you do it with. Under Actually, uh, we're gonna do one thing. It, it matters a little bit, actually, now that I think about it. So. You're gonna want to destroy, right? So we got five monsters on board right now. Where do we summon the gate zero? Yeah, we summoned it from hand, or it was like this. So this is how it was. So at this point, we're gonna activate terraforming. We're gonna get the dragon ravine. Hmm. Dragon ravine's gonna bring out the. We're gonna discard the lure. Get the destroy and grave. Now we're going to create space on the field. We're going to link the gate zero and the electro. Just because we want something level six, six or less. Underclock. And then we're going to destrudo Dark Worm. Because uh, Dark Worm is, uh, level four. is a level four. And it's the one we're going to use. Uh, we're going to get rid of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, one sec. Yeah, so now it's the level three. Yeah. yeah. Wait. I, yeah, 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 yeah. For level three, but we got rid of the yeah, so it doesn't matter, literally, it doesn't matter what, what it was. Harmonizing is gonna stay in the field, anyways. So you bring these out, uh, to make the PK link, and now the PK link is gonna get you the cloak, which you're gonna banish to get this. Wait, uh, wait, you, you set like this, you have to like the harm away, uh, for the PK link. because you need the no, I don't, you need I don't. the trap and you need the I don't, I don't need to do that. Harmonizing is gonna stay on board regardless. And uh, if I target it, I'm gonna target it, it doesn't matter. Harmonize is gonna stay on board by itself, and it doesn't matter, like you just win anyways. So Harmonize is gonna stay up there by itself. Uh, and then we're gonna get, we're gonna banish the cloak to get this to our head. And then we're going to, so it doesn't matter, like you're gonna always have one monster on, if you harmonize it, it's gonna pretty much be there anyways. You're always gonna have one monster on board. Cause we summon an extra monster from our hand. You only need to summon one monster from your hand, but we summon an extra one. It doesn't really matter in this situation. Now we're gonna summon uh, this, uh, we're going, oh, sorry, not yet. We're going to summon the level four. Then we're going to Rongo. And then after that, we're going to summon level three. And then we got three level threes. Uh, in fact, we could even save the Dark Roman just to have a higher attack. But they're not going to summon anything anyways. And then where's uh, this effect? Even if they Ghost Ogre you at this point, which they would have done in Electrum anyways, but you just use this effect and they gate the Ghost Ogre, and you still have four materials underneath it. So you're safe, that's why I like six materials. And you, know, you have six materials under Rongo, and on their following turn, they're getting OTK'd. So that's the beauty of the deck. That's why Rongo in this deck is insane, because they're getting OTK'd no matter what. When you get Rongo against a Dark Warrior deck right now, you know, you can set up Purple Poison, you can set any monster, and just wait a few turns, unless they have like seven materials. But they just have five materials, you just set, set, and you know, the, the following turn you win. So. Uh, it's not an auto win if you get Rongo for five or six if the deck can OTK right away, but this deck will OTK just like that. And the better, like I couldn't, like, like the best way would have been Dark Room Harmonizing instead just to use Link Material for this. We link away anything. It doesn't matter what we linked away. It absolutely zero matter. So uh, you're going to Oath Dragon to Harmonizing back. So next turn you're going to have Harmonizing for follow up, draw whatever, and then you synchro up, like just win. So that's the deck. Like it's insane. I guess two turns. Like it's so I'm not sure a lot about. You might be looking at a, oh my god, Rongo versus Rongo five. I'm so not sure a lot about drawing these hands because every hand is a Rongo. Every single hand you're gonna draw Rongo. Sorry. Like we drew, we drew Mary Mary. We still had it. And if uh, Mary Mary is still necessary in the deck because like Rongo, you ought to win with the Rongo. But you want some card in your deck that's like almost a win con. Uh, people don't know the yeah. Yazi's coming. And if they do know, if they know you, if you they play at locals and they know you got Yazi, okay. But at regions or YCS, no one knows you got Yazi coming. Let's see this judo. They'll know you're playing Rongo game one or whatever. Like, oh, yeah, just a random material for Rongo. And then you like, Yazi them. Yazi, oh, all your Sky Secret cards are useless. Pop. And then they'll have to take care of a second one to take care of the Mary. You got rid of two cards from yeah, one. On, on and then you that, win. Like, if you didn't draw the Mary Mary, you, you send it to Strudo again. And then you summon the next thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it, like, there's so many ways to do this. Like, in fact, I didn't even need to summon this Dark Room from hand, so I could even kept it. And you only have three cards in hand, like, two cards plus to draw. Like, your follow up's insane with this deck. Uh, even if they somehow, like, even if they draw XYZ Encore, that's it. no one sides XYZ Encore, absolutely no one, except for the cameraman. But if you were to play XYZ Encore, even if this left, 
big deal. Like, you're still, next turn, you're still destroying them. Like, they're left, if they play XYZ Aqua, whatever, let's say OTK you, like, look at this follow up for next turn. Like, you're destroying them. Your follow up, you got Rongo for six materials every single hand. Hater number one over there. Still shit. <laughs> so, what would you like to look, open your average hand? Pick out your deck. Pick out your deck right now. Shuffle your deck, draw your five, beat this. So shit. <laughs> That's what I thought. No words for the panda over there. Pangod reigns supreme as always. Now, I hope you guys like this video, all right? Rongo, hey, maybe some fire coming up. I know this is amazing. I know you guys, I got, I got to tell you guys, man. I surprised myself. After I created this list, I'm like, I'm the Pangod. I'm the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh player on the planet. No one can touch me. Before Not even potato over there. Before the potato. No one is on my level. Before the potato. No. <laughs> no one's on my level. Rongo. Pendulums. Turbo. Baby. Make sure to subscribe. Peace.